on this episode of World of Whaley. This might be the first time the internet ever sees the brand new 2023 Rebel SLS. All right, guys, first of all, welcome to a brand new episode. We're out here in Jerry Coacoara. It's the furthest north that we're gonna be going. And yeah, this place is amazing. It's beautiful. I've been coming back here for years because it's so special and it's a great spot for kite surfing as well. Today, the plan is we're gonna grab the car. We're gonna head downwind down the coast and find a nice little spot, set up a new kite, which I'm gonna tell you guys all about. Very exciting. And hopefully we're gonna have a nice big air session. Today, the wind looks like it's strong. We haven't had much strong wind yet during this trip. So I'm super excited for today and hopefully we can fly high. Let's go. Massive shout out to Cafe Jerry, super nice hotel here in Jericoacoara. It's got everything. It's got the hotel in the back and up here there's like rooftop parties which happen every night from around 4 p.m. until 10. Very fun. Tip of the day, wear your sun cream. Tip of the day, coconuts hydrate you 30% more than water. That might be fact of the day actually. No. <laughs> What's up? How you doing, man? Ah, really you good? to see you. How you doing? Nice good? to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. How are you? <laughs> good? Wind going I think so. I think it's going to be really good this afternoon. If the, if the wind's strong, I'm going to do bigger for sure. I got a new kite, so I'm pretty excited to try it. And do you think you will win the King of the Earth this year? I hope so. I hope so. That's the goal. I will see you. We have fun this summer, and then in September we start training. <laughs> All right. So, we are currently in a car on a boat above the water. <laughs> it's a bit of a weird feeling. Seb's on the drone, so Whaley has to take over the camera. Car is parked, crossing the lagoon, going to the other side. Alright guys, so what you are about to witness is exclusive to my YouTube channel. This might be the first time the internet ever sees the brand new 2023 Rebel SLS. So I could sit and talk to you all day about all of the great features that the new Rebel SLS has. But I'm just gonna give you some quick facts. Vertical pull, this kite takes you into the stratosphere. I have never tried a kite that takes me higher. You jump, no matter your level, you're gonna be jumping higher on the Rebel than on most kites out there. The hang time on the kite is absolutely amazing. You're just gonna be floating around, staying up in the sky for longer than usual. Landings are gonna be very soft. The kite loop, Kite loop super easy to do. Doesn't have much pull in the kite loop, so you can generate as much power as you want. You have complete control of how much power you want to generate during your kite loop, which makes it very easy to try out new tricks. Those are my favorite features about this kite. Super fast turning as well. Rebel SLS, lighter than the normal Rebel, so the steering is very fast, very responsive. Fly high, lots of hang time, easy kite loop, soft landings, what else do you want? And may I add, this kite used to be considered a kite for people that just want to ride up and down, chilled and light winds, and it's come a long way since then. You see a lot of us 
younger professional athletes starting to use this kite during competitions and that's just because it's so great on a high level. So what I'm trying to say is this kite is good for all levels of kiting no matter if you're just riding up and down, doing your first jumps or trying to take this sport to the next level. This kite is epic. It's my kite of choice within the whole Duotone range. And yeah, hopefully we can keep on pushing this kite, make it better and better each year until, until the end of time. So, we had a super great time here in Jerry, trying this new kite today, feels amazing, the conditions were really fun and yeah, I'm stoked to be one of the first guys to test it out. Another beautiful sunset, this is the last trip for us here in the northeast of Brazil and now we're heading on to our next adventure in Rio de Janeiro, see you guys there.